All right, man. Safe, man. Hey, let me stop. All right, man. Welcome back to another YouTube video, man. It's your boy Jalil, man. I saw Jalil in the building. To Jalil, whatever, in the building. I don't even know my channel name in the building. Today, we're looking at a video called My Strange Addiction. This time, we're going to try to get through the whole video because my first take, I didn't watch the whole video. So, we're going to see if we get through the whole video. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My heart. My heart. My heart. My heart. My heart. My name is Josh. I'm 27. I live in Worcester, Ohio and I'm addicted to eating glass. When I bite into the glass, I just get like a warm feeling, kind of get a little bit tingly. Normally when I... Pause. He said he kind of get a little bit tingly. Pause. My brother. It's 23 seconds and you told us you get tingled. I look for a glass to eat. I look for uh, champagne glasses, wine glasses, light bulbs. The reason I pick these are because they're usually a thinner glass. It's very oh. gritty right now. It's hard to describe. Okay, I say right foot cream. Uh, it sounds Ooh. awful in my head, the actual chewing. Right, let me get through this video, boy. Get through this video, my heart. But I enjoy TLC, this man, a whole lot. Me, man, for real, man, on the dead there isn't a whole lot of taste. It's more of a texture thing. It's like Bro, eating horrendously like sharp uh, rock candy until you grind it down. Gosh, Josh started eating glass for four years. He's consumed more When I first saw Josh eating glass, bowls, I thought it was bro. fake. I didn't think it was real. And when I found out that it was, I was oh, upset Josh. and scared. I am Josh a performer yourself, uh, for a living. I, I do stand-up comedy, day, but glass eating is not my routine. I actually came across glass eating in a book that I was reading. It was kind of scary at oh, first, wow. and then once I realized that it didn't seem to be doing damage to me, it got a lot easier for me to do. I'm worried about Josh, my boy. You. you gotta stop eating. I don't know what glass, that's bro. doing to the inside of you. Like most people are worried about having bad cholesterol when you eat glass. Yeah, I don't. It's not like I feel anything. It doesn't hurt when I eat glass or anything. No, yeah, most people don't know they're gonna have a heart attack either, and they have those all the time. I've cut my lips many times, the corner of my mouth. I've had uh, pieces of glass in my gums. So there's very distinct possibility it could be cutting deep down inside my body. So I don't know why you're eating it at all. You know, I don't, I try not to do that. It's gotta be fake, bro. It's glass. You can try not to do it or you can just not do it at all. Like, I don't understand why this is so hard for you. Because you know, once I get in front of people, Nah, this is hard for him because he's been doing it for four years. He can't stop. People be saying they're going to stop doing something and they don't stop doing it. You got you to gotta get that, lady. Like, calm down. Let me stop. That I stop eating this glass just get compelled to do stuff. I eat glass at parties, bars, uh, friend get-togethers. Uh -huh. yep. I love reactions I get from people. Um, I very rarely will do it uh, alone. I guess more than anything, I'm really addicted to the attention. My name is Mary. Bro, he's, that's what it is. He's addicted to the attention. That's why he's eating the glass. That's why he's eating the glass with the cameras on. He like, oh. you know what I'm saying? 46 years old. I live in Farwell, Michigan, and okay. I'm addicted hey, anybody, to eating cat food. Anybody that was in this TLC show see me in real life, I'm sorry. I mean, but don't dance. They just burst the flavor in your mouth. I mean, I just love them. Burst. One for you. Oh. And one for Mama. Mary's cat food craving started five years ago after a difficult divorce. She began spending all her time at home with her three cats. Then one day she had the urge to eat a cat treat and was instantly okay. hooked. And I start thinking about a certain flavor cat treat and my mouth will water. She These little all square ones cabinet. have a cheesy. Water. Taste them. These are the beefy ones. On a scale of one to ten, the crunch factor is a ten. It's gross. There's four basic food groups, and cat treats are not one of them. Tommy, set her straight, Tommy. Mary needs 900 cat treats a day. There's been days where I, I ate cat treats oh all day long and never ate any people food. And that cabinet just calls my name and I'll say, Mary, come eat. And I'll go sit on the deck. 
there's Whoa. been days where I, I ate cat treats <laughs> all day eat. long and never ate Chris. any people food. Right. That cabinet just calls my name and it'll say, Mary, come eat. This has got to be the thumbnail, bro. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I got to make the thumbnail real quick. Cause I'm going to edit this out, though. Wait, I can't edit it out. Dang it. But yeah, this is going to be the thumbnail of the video, bro. Because what's going on? Let me go ahead and screenshot this real quick, dude. This the thumbnail. She looked like a kitty cat. <laughs> That's the thumbnail, though, bro. Hold on. That's going to be the thumbnail. For sure, for sure. Sorry, Mary, if you're seeing this video. TLC sponsors me. I don't own copyrights to this video, though. I'm just reacting. I'm only three minutes in. I already I'll go sit on the deck and eat some treats and watch some TV, eat some treats. I always keep a bag in my car and my purse. Then we have bedtime treats. By that time, I've gone through a bag or two. Mary is unemployed, but spends $200 oh. a month on cat food. My thing is, my, hold on. My thing is, this lady is unemployed. How much, who's giving her this money? Let me have some. How you getting all this money? What is money on? There's no way. There's no way you got money and you're unemployed. What she be doing? She be doing YouTube? She do YouTube? Not the look, bro. Mary must be famous because there's no way. She spends like over $200 worth of cat treats. They're all in her cabin. She don't even eat people food no more. She eat cat food, kitty cat food. She look like a kitty cat. Y'all see her eyes? She look like a kitty cat. See, that's what happens, bro. That's what happens when you go through divorce when you get depressed and start eating cat Herself. food. Herself. I spend more money on cat treats than I do on regular food. You gonna take it out of mommy's mouth? How do you have money though? Sight. How do you have money to spend on But this? cat treats alone aren't enough to satisfy that? Mary's craving. In the past year, her addiction has escalated okay. to wet cat food. Okay. It tastes and smells like okay. chicken soup. Yeah, we're done. Just like I'm sorry, grandma Mary. used to make. We're done with you, Mary. Yeah, we're done with you, Mary. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My name's Patrice. I live in London and I'm addicted to eating bricks. London is full of brick. The Houses of Parliament, Big Ben, the roads, brick is everywhere. I'm having this constant reminder of brick, brick, brick. It's always at the back of my head. All right, all right, all right. How many times are you going to say brick, brick, brick? Like, Oh, let <laughs> oh, no, me stop. But Mary, I mean, whatever your name is, Mary has my mind. Mary. I've always got to have it. This is about I've to always got to go and get it. I gotta do it the whole twenty. I gotta do it. I got to this time. When I my eat brick, take, I didn't do the whole it's 20. like a drug to a drug addict. You feel good for a while until you need it again. You could just hear her go into town and it just crunch, crunch, crunch. You get like a little cringe feeling and like, you know, when you hear it, you know. But obviously to Patrice, it's heaven. <laughs> I started eating brick in my late <laughs> teens. I got the idea to do it from my grandma who told me that my auntie and uncle, when they were kids, they used to dig the wall and taste it. One day I ended up trying it myself and I couldn't really stop. Bro, this is her grandma's fault, bro. Trying to kill her own grandbaby. That is insane. Trying to kill your own grandbaby slowly but surely is crazy. I know this is probably not on purpose. This wasn't intentional. But God, Lee, you try to kill your grandbaby slowly but surely. That's insane. Man, some people don't deserve grandbabies, man, for real. Did she, did she let her, 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 did she let her, whatever, what did she say? I don't even know, bro. Like, Bro. Trying to take your grandbaby out is insane. Girl, this is your fault, Grandma. Control her. What is she doing? Freak monster. Throughout the day, this is about how much brick I would consume. I eat brick from my bedroom, my grandmother's bedroom, and the bathroom. I bet you do. I bet you do. This is really distressing. This is the part she did. And not all whole lot she take at once. She take little by little and she put it to the back of her mouth. I don't know. This is the poster I used to cover up the evidence. I use different tools, screwdrivers, scissors, whatever I can to get the brick out of the wall so I can eat it. It's taken four months to make a three foot hole in my bedroom wall 
roughly in about a year, I would say, I could finish that whole wall. And usually what I do is store a lint yeah. over there. And sometimes oh, hair be in there, and I have to pull it out. I should be able to lick it like that, and nothing get caught on my tongue. But it is ready to go. My name is Jennifer. Did you just say? Come on, so there it is, ready to go. And I'm addicted to eating mattresses. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, none of that. There's like a hard texture, like my taste buds are though. I mean, it looked like butter. You might as well just be addicted to eating butter. It looked like butter. I mean, why I pause it? No, kind of like like a guitar. When I found out that Jennifer eat mattresses, I was just bumbounded. I was like, oh, it blew my mind that she did that. I thought he said bumbounded. Well, I'm not even halfway through. Uh, these people nasty. Uh, Jennifer eats a square foot. She's a definition of a. Hold on. I make sure, like, when my mom's not gonna be in her room, or I can be in her room. So, like, let's say when she get in the shower, um, tiptoeing in here to get it. The reason why I'm not eating my own mattress is because I ate my mattress already. You ate it. You ate it. I bet you did. I start off with the good stuff. The good stuff to me is the pillow top itself. Then I go down to yeah, this part. Bro. I Good cut one. it. After that, I just start ripping it as I go. I get to a piece. I'm done with the mattress when it smells funny, or if I get down to where it's just springs. I usually, when I crave to eat it some funny. mattress, it usually be out there 2 o'clock after I eat. I, I'm urged. I need to urge. I got to have it. got to have it. For some reason, after sex, I would want some. <laughs> the side effects of man, eating mattresses. Man, man, what? She just said, after sex, she gotta have mattress. Oh my I'm done with you too, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Jen. You gotta get out of my screen. Um, we're going to the soap addiction. Jeez, soap too? I'm Tempest. I'm 19 years old. Oh, I'm in college. And I'm addicted to eating laundry detergent and soap. Every morning I do actually wake up and go right down to the laundry room. It's extremely embarrassing. I take my two fingers and I dab. And it looks like this. It tastes like sweet, salty, sour, bitter. So this will last me like 15 minutes. You're 19. And I want some more. They want to kill themselves. Growing up, point. I've always loved the smell of laundry detergent, and during the times I would be oh, stressed, video. I would oh, smell laundry upload. detergent, and it crazy. tends to like calm me down. Like they're trying to kill a man's fault at this point. I feel like I'm supposed to eat laundry detergent because it feels age, so right. You're older than me now, you're eating There's this. some serious dangers involved with eating soap or laundry detergent. Those could include things like causing ulcerations in the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the intestines. I eat the soap when I wash my hands. I eat the soap when I take a shower. I even eat the soap sometimes, like, okay, in my- Okay, okay, I'm done. I can't do it. I can't do it, bro. I cannot do it, bro. I cannot do it, bro. I cannot do it, bro. Next person. I can't do it, bro. I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. Next person. Bye, bye. My name is Robert. I'm 23. I can't do I live with my fiance, and I'm addicted to eating plastic bags. My favorite bags are the, the bags off the newspaper. I start off my day by eating a whole bag. God, he sits at the dinner table and eats a bag of plastic. How are you sitting at the dinner table eating plastic? Like, I cannot finish this video, bro. I don't think I can finish this video. The first taste of that plastic in the morning is the best part of my day. The plastic eating thing's a little weird. 
I've noticed over years that each Literally color of plastic has its own different taste and texture. And this right here is my favorite because. Like the color? It's chewy, it's malleable, and it's just delicious. Heaven. He started when he was about seven years old, and it has gotten worse and worse. And you had him? He started when he was about seven years old. And you let him? You let him? Oh, and it has gotten worse and worse. Every go? time I see him, he's always chewing. When I run out of my morning stash, I usually drive around the neighborhood and somebody find me some more plastic bags. All right, we got two bags right here. here bro. I'm about to crash out, bro. Well, when I find one, I'll, I'll take the plastic, plastic bag off and leave, leave the newspaper there. Sometimes uh, I get nervous and that somebody's gonna come outside and see me. Sorry, but I have to have plastic. I'm set for the rest of the day now. I ain't got to go out and look for any more plastic. My body. That's a good day. I had to skip the last couple people. Bro. I had to. I think I can get through him though. This ain't that bad. That's a fucking football pick. My need to eat plastic has grown over the years now to where I also like grocery bags and garbage bags. That's really all I eat. I have to try to make them eat like some kind of vegetables or fruit. I want some apples. But you're not helping them much. Like, like Ashley, like Ashley, bro. You're not doing much for him. That's why he's still eating them. If you told him the wedding is off, he would definitely stop eating plastic bags. I bet you'll stop eating them plastic bags. The wedding is off. He'd be like, oh, baby, I'll stop eating these packs. I'll do anything, baby. Break up with it. Just call. Call off a grocery bag. store bag is a lot tougher than a newspaper bag. You can chew it into smaller pieces and swallow it easier, but it's kind of rough. Would you like your paper or plastic? Plastic. <laughs> to smaller pieces yeah, and swallow it easier, but it's kind of rough. Would you like your paper or plastic? Plastic. Look how happy he got, bro. Why are you so geeked over some plastic bag? Ashley, you're not a good fiance. You're not. You're not. Tell him, do something, bro. Gaslight him. Do something. That's your job. The job is to gaslight. Do something. Tell him the wedding is off. I know this video is mad old, but tell him the wedding is off, bro. Sometimes I go Maybe like a day and a half stop. without eating food because I've ate so much plastic. Break up with it. I'm marrying someone that eats plastic. That's like it's it. embarrassing. It is. I bet it is. But you're not doing much. Gaslight. What are you doing? That's your job. Gaslight. I don't think he realizes how serious it is. He has to stop before it gets worse or something terrible happens. I think it's something she should accept and get over because I'm not going to stop eating plastic. My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. She was initially attracted to the earthy. Bro, she been eating rocks for two decades, bro. Two decades. She been eating rocks. She's probably old, old now, but she eating rocks for two decades. Smell. I was just out walking one day. I had no intention of biting one into day. it or chewing it, but I did. And once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. It's the grittiness of it and the earthy taste. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching bro. them up. Like, I'm very worried about Teresa. When your body real? can't handle what you're putting inside of it, it's going to rebel really against rocks? you. Teresa's favorite type of rock is a mixture of several minerals, including granite. Now, she uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. 
This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally you. just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth and and get the earthy taste off of it. We're done with you. My name is Allison. I'm 19 years old. I live in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm addicted to eating rubber tires. The rubber tire pieces taste really chemically, like a shock to your taste buds. It's amazing. <laughs> For the past six years, Allison has been addicted to eating tires. Morning, noon, and night, she snacks on the black rubber, consuming up to 14 pounds per month. Her addiction is so intense, she even stashes tire shavings throughout her house. The texture of the rubber pieces is kind of like beef jerky, and so your teeth like springing off of it. It's a workout for your dog. I think eating tires is weird, period, and it's just, I mean, it's <laughs> crazy eating that rubber. Sammy, do something then. Like, come on, bro. It's over two feet of shavings every day. Two feet is crazy. This is the size I like to eat. Oh, wow. I get three or four, and I twist them together, and I'll chew them until they lose, like, their chemical taste, and I swallow them. It doesn't matter about the time of the day. It's just whenever I need it. Making sure the clean is kind of a concern for me because I don't want to get sick from something that might have been on the floor. And thanks to her fiance, Allison has an endless supply of tire shavings to feed her addiction. Bro, you're shaking your head. Do something. Stop shaking your head. Oh my gosh. And then, and then she told my son I don't want to get sick from it when it was on the ground. You're getting sick from it regardless. It's just not taking you out right now. Sorry, you two. I didn't mean to say that. But still, dang, you know what I mean. Like, you know what I mean, you two. Y'all know what I mean. My fiance works at a tire plant, and pretty much every time he comes home, he has some, or it's in his pants. But pieces of tires aren't the only thing Allison it's uses to boss, feed her addiction. I also like rubber bands, rubber glue, bouncy balls. I've also tried dog chew toys. But I don't like it because the rubber's harder. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right, man. Well, uh, that's going to be the end of the video, y'all. I can't do this no more. This can't be real. TLC, thank you for letting me um, watch your video for free. You know what I'm saying? I don't own copyrights to this, uh, this episode or whatever. My Strange Addiction, The Stranger Eating Addiction. I can't watch this, bro. I, I know I'm on like two minutes left, but I can't do it, bro. She said she eat dog food. Anyway, y'all, this is going to be it for the video, man. It's your boy, Iso Jalil. Whatever you want to call me, Golly. Wally, Jalil, man, we're out, man. This is crazy, bro. These people are nasty, bro. You're nasty, bro. All these people, I couldn't finish this video. I'm at the ring. My, 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 my body felt weird. Like my, my, my whole stomach, my whole arteries couldn't take this. I can't look at plastic bags the same. I can't look at nothing the same because of these people. Anyway, man, we out, bro. Cause this is crazy. Y'all just disgust. Look at her face. This is the face of shame right there. Look at your face. Anyway, I'm out, man. Hope these people are doing better in real life. I hope this was fake. We out, man. It's your boy, I saw Jalil, man. Oh, golly. Wally. Jalil. We're going gonna, we gonna to probably post this now, bro. I don't know. We might post this tomorrow or before when I wake up. I don't know, man. This is disgusting. I'm out, bro. I'm just raining for no reason. It's your boy, Jalil. Peace.